good news to bring you. A group of friends are keeping up with a tradition with the Chiefs game this weekend. Yet our Frances Lynn spoke to a lifelong Chiefs fan, a Desert Storm medic who made a pact with his friends almost 30 years ago. Dan Gilber has been a Chiefs fan since the day he was born. He's setting up to the battlefield at Arrowhead this Sunday with a very special group of friends. In my life, I'm, I'm about to turn 49, or I'm sorry, yeah, I'm about to turn 49 years old. They've never won the Super Bowl. Not only is Gilbert excited about the Chiefs coming this far, but he also gets to spend the weekend with his three friends from Desert Storm, thanks to his wife. She kind of went behind my back and was talking to my old military buddies and put it together and got their wives and everybody on board to make us all get together and go to the game. He says it means a lot to him that his friends came to support his team. You know, this is not really their team. The Chiefs are not their team. So for them to make the journey, to go to the Chiefs game is pretty special. The four friends haven't been all together in 27 years. It's surreal. It's it's weird, you know. It's uh, one of those things that we, we've been together in different places and different times and stuff, but not all together. So very surreal. They, they drove in last night, and uh, when they got out of the truck, you know, it was a neat moment. Surreal to know that we all, what we went through and how we hung out and. Um, we're pretty inseparable when we were in Germany. Football is something that's kept the yeah, group connected it. over the years. There's yeah. some good text messages that go on <laughs> during some football games, yeah. We'll, we'll have a string of 20, 30 text messages <laughs> easily that, that can go. Are you watching the game? Not anymore! <laughs> <laughs> you know? I broke my TV! Yeah. Yeah. They even have a 15-year-long bet. Well, Dan kept talking about how this is the year, this is the year, Greg, every year. I mean, it went on for four or five years. And finally, I said, Dan, I'll bet you a hundred bucks the Cowboys go to the Super Bowl before the Chiefs. They're driving up to tailgate before the game on Sunday. We're all Chiefs fans Sunday. That's right. Everybody's going for the Chiefs on Sunday. In Springfield, Francis Lynn, Ozarks First.